welcome to my first ever channel, Blonde Koala. I'm Andrea and I'm Indonesian. So you are my first ever viewers. So please do the honor by taking the subscribe button down below. And please, please follow me to my world, uh, which is a passion for foreign language and foreign people. So a little bit about myself. I'm Indonesian, which means I speak Bahasa Indonesia. Hello, apa kabar? Selamat malam. And also, in daily basis, I'm speaking English, especially with my foreign friends who live abroad. And, you know, sometimes I speak Japanese and also speak Turkish. Hajime mashite, yoroshiku onegai itashimasu. Isme mande ya tanishite mezame amno no oldo. And lots of people would ask me, why Turkish? Because Turkish language is not as common to learn as French, German, Dutch, or maybe Chinese, but, you know, why? But for me, is why not? Because this is really interesting. Turkish language is not as simple as you might think, you guys, come on. This is like one of the difficult languages to learn, at least for me. So, um, you know, we Indonesian people, grew up knowing that the verbs are always in the middle of the sentences but Turkish and Japanese their verbs are in the end of the sentences so my brain is like well anyway the more difficult it gets the more difficult it is for me the more I'm curious and not only to the language but to the people behind it I was you know interacting with lots of Japanese culture people language around maybe for the past four or five years so I got to know um, the way they are behaving their habits values the way of thinking living working the way of they look at themselves and how they look other people and also my curiosity is even bigger you know and just why are are they doing it like that and not this and why are they different from us why are they doing this differently something like this so this is what interesting for me to find out more and the same thing happened when I start to learn Turkish I get to know uh, the you know values their cultures the way they are behaving um, and this is really interesting and also I got to connect with lots of different uh, people with different backgrounds and my world is not that small anymore anymore but it's just like open so wide because i connect to so many different knowledge and so many different language and people and culture and world so this is such an amazing feeling and experience to you know to have and also you know in the past i was a bahasa indonesia teacher so maybe my videos, in my next videos, maybe I will teach a little bit of Bahasa Indonesia, especially for those of you who are now in Indonesia and not Indonesian. And this is for you who are staying for business purposes or maybe just like traveling but want to have some basic communication with local people so I could teach you basic Indonesian. Um, and also I would, you know, share some of my experiences, uh, in learning language, foreign language and dealing with foreign people uh, in my next videos. And also, I also cover some, you know, interesting activities coming not only from foreign people, but also from, uh, Indonesian people from family, friends, or people I know, something like this. And, you know, also I have collaboration with my Japanese best friend in Japan. 
so we will have new videos to show and I don't know just excited just to think about it how we are um, having this kind of connection to each other in daily life in daily basis you know and this is not only to expand ourselves our minds as a human but also to expand lots of things in lots of different ways so i'm so excited about it i talk too much um see you in my next videos i hope you're still staying you know tune and watch my next 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 videos thank you very much for watching this one and see you soon thank you terima kasih 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 terima